All right, you're getting your supplies ready, and so let's talk about getting ready to die. D-Y-E, not D-I-E. So I would say look around your house and see what's there before you head to Joanne or someplace like that. You can basically dye any natural fabric. So what does that include? Cotton, linen, rayon, hemp. Those are sort of the four main vegetable or bast fibers. So they grow up out of the ground. And then we've got wool and we've got silk. And these are our animal or protein fibers. All of those you can dye with the dyes that we're going to be using in this class, indigo and cochineal. So basically, any fabric that is 100% natural is okay. So you can look around, and if you're unsure whether something's natural, there is something called the burn test, which I'll talk about in another video. You can also use fabrics that are a blend. So a very common blend, cotton and linen, that's fine as long as they are 100% natural. Can you dye a synthetic fabric? Well, obviously, yes, because they exist out there in the big world, walk into Target, Under Armour, wherever. All of those smart fabrics are tend to be synthetic fabrics. But um, for this course, the answer is no, you can't easily dye them. Indigo, yes, it will cover most anything, but you're just not going to get as deep a color as if you uh, if you had a hundred percent natural fabric or in this example that I have here cotton so I wouldn't recommend synthetics for this project I really encourage you to think outside of the box and again you know you don't have to go out and get all new stuff you have been provided with fabric for your final project in this dye unit but your samples just see what you have around. And there's absolutely no reason that it has to be white fabric. Uh, you are going to have uh, more interesting results if it's on the lighter side, like black is not going to work, or navy blue. Stay away from those. Uh, but basically, any other color would be just fine. There's no reason it has to be a plain fabric. It could be a striped or plaid fabric, and you could get some really interesting results or it can have an existing pattern already, like these quilting type fabrics. And I mentioned all the different fiber types. You could try different fibers. So here we're looking at a picture of felt, which is made of wool. You can see what might be around. And a lot of times, uh, say old coats have a silk lining. And if that's a cast off, why not just pull it out and see if that'll work for you? You can also dye these things where you thought, ugh, I'm never going to use that. I was just uh, rooting around in my studio and I've got these fabrics that have I don't know what on them. And I'm going to over dye them in indigo and no one will ever know probably that these were not less than perfect, I'll call them. Um, for this project, you will be required to hand in eight samples in addition to your uh, finished uh, scarf project. And I, I was thinking about, for me, since I'm doing these demos, I'm going to be putting a lot of time and energy into this. And I thought, instead of it just being a scrap of fabric, although I would always, always start with a scrap of fabric just to test to see if I understand the technique. Why don't I make some napkins? And these are cotton linen napkins. I ran to Target uh, to, to get these. Um, and I can have eight fancy napkins. And the point being is, is that this doesn't just have to be for nothing. Uh, a napkin is just a square of fabric. 
Or, of course, you can dye old clothing. And uh, let's face it, we all have garments like this that simply by over dyeing, you're going to be able to give them new life. So if you want to use these as your samples, not for your final project, but as your samples, that will be absolutely fine. So if your cloth, like those napkins I just showed you, is brand new, you are going to have to wash it. Now the fabric and the scarf that we're going to be providing you, they are what we know as dye ready, so you don't have to wash those, but um, as with those napkins from Target, 100%, I have to wash it. And in an ideal world, there is a very special fabric detergent called Synthropole. It's like this super concentrate, and just with one cap full in my washer, uh, it will remove what it is. It's a starch and finish, and without removing that starch and finish, that will repel the dye. Now, let's say you're dyeing an old t-shirt that's been washed, whatever, a hundred times before. You don't have to worry about this, or it's some old garment, not to worry. But if you do end up going to Joann's or someplace like that to get fabric, 100% you have to wash it. You may not have access to Synthropole, which, by the way, is uh, available at Artisan Craftsman Supply if you decide to, to go for it. But you could just wash it with... Um, you know, what your whatever, I'm not going to name drop any brands and recommend them, but it might take a couple washings to get all that starch and finish off. So now we've covered what you're going to need. Let's get ready to dye.